Barry Henderson from Is Technology in Vancouver, Canada, and we're here at the 2012 AES show for showing our brand new version of radar called Radar 6. The Radar 6 is quite a bit shorter, smaller, and lighter than the Radar V. It's designed with mobile live recording in mind. It's got a high resolution 10 inch touchscreen on the front panel. It allows you to have your entire control on a single screen and you've also got all the contact information for is because we are a company that likes to have a direct relationship with our end users um, you can expand your track view now to show more audio if you don't need to see your locate list or your track names you can also have quick key of that from the session controller We've also eliminated our proprietary SCSI bus and we've gone to a new direct recording system that allows blazing fast file transfer to and from almost any type of storage device on the planet. We're showing here an SD XC card slot. We can record 24 tracks, 24 bits at 192 kilohertz, seamless gapless punch in onto one SD card. These are SDXC cards, so they're spec up to two terabytes and up to 200 megabytes per second transfer speed. I can record onto the SD card, I can plug it directly into my MacBook Pro, and I can transfer at blazing speeds. A big feature of Radar 6 is file compatibility and integration with DAWs. <laughs> you can also record now to USB 3, plug your USB 3 stick in, record directly to it, flatten the files, transfer them in, or you can just use this as a file transfer media. Many people aren't comfortable having a, a dongle sticking out of the front panel of the radar. You've also got your USB 2 ports and your eSATA port directly on the front panel. It looks a little bit like Radar 1 back in the day of front panel controls. We've basically taken all the features of all the radars and just put them into one box. You can still have dual disc recording or disc mirroring like you could with Radar V. You can populate the two bays with either uh, SD cards or uh, our high quality SATA all metal key lock enclosures. These are still, just like the larger predecessor, uh, all metal uh, key lock enclosures certified to 25,000 plus insertion rate. You can, but you can fit it in your shirt pocket. It's no longer this big clunky thing that you have to put in, wrap in foam and put in a big case. And it's got a USB 2 port directly on the front panel. So after recording, I can plug this into any device and use industry standard USB transfer. We've still got our DVD combo drive option. And yes, people still use CD, CDs and DVDs. I just had a major customer here saying that all their backups are done because they want to burn them to DVD so that nobody can mess with the file. Even, even though you can now do it right to, directly to a USB stick or an SD card, some people just like to have it burned onto a media that they know is going to be safe. But it's a slot drive, it's got fewer mechanical parts, it's very quiet. All the drives, including the internal system driver, solid state, so the machine runs physically quieter and a much lower temperature so it's much better for the control room if you want to have the machine right beside you you're not going to hear much acoustic noise. <coughs> you're not going to hear much acoustic noise coming from the box um, you can take a look at the side and see how much smaller it is the previous radar was about that big so we've made it quite a bit shorter you can now just literally carry it right under your arm take it anywhere with you much more portable we now support all the widescreen formats. Um, all the high resolution widescreen formats are supported. You can skin this here, we're showing it. It's called a midnight skin, but you can put your own JPEGs and pictures and skin it. We've also added editing features like record punching out handles so that you can adjust your punches after the fact. Previous radar, as of yesterday, you had to undo the punch and redo it. Um, still works with our legacy session controller, our famous session controller meter bridge, and all the legacy remotes. You can buy the small KC24 remote as well. But the real icing on the cake for the Radar 6 is our new converters. The Classic 96 replaces the Classic, and the Ultra Nyquist replaces 
both the Nyquist and the S Nyquist cards. The Ultra Nyquist is our best converter yet. It represents 15 years of converter design technology. We took the best attributes of the Nyquist and the S Nyquist, put them into one unified design that's lower noise, lower distortion, and quite a bit lower price. The Classic 96 is the same performance characteristics of the original Classic board that was from the Radar, Otari Radar 2 days. And we've been shipping that design right up until last year. Now we've extended the sample rate beyond 48 kilohertz to 96K. This is our new entry level board and it also is lower cost than the Classic. We're also showing <coughs> our A to 2 standalone DAW workstation converter interface, computer interface. And it also supports the new Classic 96 and Ultra Nyquist converters. It's got the new high res 10 inch touchscreen. People really love the touchscreen on the A to 1 now even bigger and easier to access. A to 2 also supports multi-channel AES cards, which the A to 1 did. And of course you can put your Pro Tools interface, it's all been tested, the latest Pro Tools software and Pro Tools HDX hardware with the new mini connectors, fully compatible with that. And A to 2 comes standard with, <coughs> excuse me, A to 2 comes standard with built-in Matty, just like A to 1. So thanks for coming to our booth and uh, seeing our new products, and we hope to hear from you online. For more information, go to www.iscorp.com. That's www.iccorp.com, or IZ if you're from anywhere outside of the US.